this is the inside of our rotary tool. You can see the motor, this is the rotor and the stator, the brushes, the variable resistor to change the voltage. It's very simple. The reason rotary tool stopped working is the wires in this coil on the stator get cut, usually because it's um, not built properly, so the rotor rubs against the wire and rips them off, and it just stops working because it's all one wire, so it needs to be connected. So those have to be soldered with a soldering iron in order to fix it, so I'll show you that. As you can see on this example, the wires are cut, that's why this rotary tool is not working. So this needs to be soldered. So I've soldered these recoil wires now, and this is a cheap Amazon rotary tool, so you can see I haven't even used it and it doesn't work. The problem is that this uh, metal is not fixed on properly, so this will hit these wires, which is why it broke in the first place, so now they stick out even more, so and they have to be insulated as well, so I'm not sure how to do that. But you can check once you've soldered these wires that it's connected by checking from the beginning to the end the resistance of the coil should be a few ohms so like this one was a few ohms this one was inf infinite so obviously it was broken and I saw it was broken and fixed it and now I can check it I'm just going to take some measurements to show that I've now wired this and it's connected so this one the brush this red wire 8.4. You'll see that this one is a bit more. They're not the same, which isn't good. But 9.4. So it's about one ohm difference. And you'll see there's a problem with uh, the wiring. I've taped it, black tape. So won't touch this. Problem is, there's just this is just so poorly designed. There's not enough space for this to twist. You can see here the, the clearance. The shape of it isn't even round. So this is a cheap, poor Amazon Dremel. So it's not going to work. And it's metal, so I can't like play around with pushing it or anything. Put this back together just so you can see it's in properly. Now I'm going to twist it. You can see it doesn't move. fiddling around trying to get the tape to fit with this rotor and then I cut the wire so I have to solder it again so I'm going to do it a bit differently I'm going to try and make it longer to go around the outside so I'm going to bend this in Oops. Okay, so 
We need some flux. So I've trimmed this, you can see how messy it is. This wire is um, exposed now, so I'm going to tape it and then hopefully this will be able to move inside if there's enough clearance. It looks, looks like it's just coming out a bit, hopefully it will fit. I've tried to fit it again and it will not fit and it snapped again. So. I'm giving up, I'm not going to fix it again and again, it just will not fit. So this is Chinese quality, don't buy it from Amazon, because Amazon is Chinese quality. <laughs> so there you go, trash.